हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुमीना रेड्डी चीफ फर्टिलिटी कंसल्टेंट एंड लैप्रोस्कोपिक सर्जन मीरा फर्टिलिटी हैदराबाद इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट आर फाइब्रॉइड्स एंड व्हाट इफेक्ट डू दे हैव ऑन योर फर्टिलिटी यूट्रिन फाइब्रॉइड्स आर बिनाइन दैट इज नॉन कैंसरस ट्यूमर्स ऑफ द मजल टिश्यू इन द यूट्रस दे आर आल्सो कॉल्ड एज मायोमास और लियोमायोमास फाइब्रॉइड्स अकर when a single muscle cell in the wall of the uterus multiplies and grows to form a non cancerous tumor fibroids can change the shape or size of the uterus and sometimes the cervix that is the lower part of the uterus women usually have more than one fibroid tumors but single fibroids are also possible whether fibroids cause symptoms or require treatment depends on their location size and number fibroids are usually found in or around the body of the uterus but sometimes they can be seen in the cervix as well there are three main types of fibroids based on where they are found first subserosal they are found on the outer wall of the uterus they are more common intramural are found in the muscle layer of the uterus and submucosal fibroids protrude into the uterine cavity fibroids can also be connected to the uterus by a stalk called as pedunculated fibroids or attached to the nearby ligaments or organs such as bladder and bowel fibroids are rarely found outside the pelvic cavity as well how common are these fibroids fibroids are found in 20% of the women of reproductive age but are more common in the exact cause of uterine fibroids is unclear but there is evidence that it may be a combination of genetic hormonal and environmental factors can fibroids decrease fertility approximately 5 to 10% of infertile women have fibroids their size and location determine whether fibroids affect fertility example fibroids that are inside the uterine cavity that is submucous fibroids or fibroids which are very large that is more than 5 or 6 cm in diameter within the wall of the uterus they affect the fertility more often than subserosal fibroids most women with fibroids will not be infertile women with fibroids and their partner should be thoroughly evaluated to find out other problems with fertility before fibroids are treated a fertility specialist can help assess if fibroids might be hampering conception how do fibroids cause infertility there are several ways uterine fibroids can reduce fertility they can reduce fertility by changing the shape of the cervix and can affect the number of sperms that enter the uterus by changing the shape of the uterus they can interfere with the movement of the sperms or embryo fallopian tubes can be blocked by presence of fibroid near their opening they can impact the size of the innermost lining of the uterine cavity called endometrium blood flow to the uterine cavity can be affected because of the presence of a fibroid this can decrease the ability of an embryo to stick that is implant to the inner uterine wall or to develop into a pregnancy what happens to these fibroids during pregnancy fibroids are found in 2 to 20 12% of pregnant women but not all fibroids get large or cause problems during pregnancy before fibroid grows it usually does so in the first 3 months of pregnancy what can happen with fibroids during pregnancy the biggest concern in pregnancy is whether the fibroid will increase the chances of preterm birth or miscarriage in some cases fibroids can outgrow their blood supply and cause severe pain this is called as red degeneration hospitalization might be required also 
fibroids can change the baby's position in the uterus this can increase the risk for miscarriage preterm delivery and cesarean delivery during pregnancy how fibroids are managed depends on your unique situation and your doctor's recommendation surgery is rarely necessary or performed for fibroids during pregnancy even during infertility not all fibroids have to be removed if a woman conceives after having a fibroid removed she should discuss this with her obstetrician who will deliver the baby a cesarean section might be required if previously a very large fibroid was removed therefore to summarize uterine fibroids are common and can affect fertility in many ways they can affect whether sperm and egg meet they can affect whether an embryo can implant within the inner lining of the uterus they can affect whether a pregnancy can continue and they can affect the growth and positioning of the baby during pregnancy they can increase the chance of cesarean delivery treatment is decided on a case to case basis it is based on symptoms of the fibroid and it can the surgery to remove the fibroid can improve the overall fertility how and whether you treat your fibroids depends on the severity of your symptoms and your doctor's recommendations i hope you got answers for all your queries related to fibroids and fertility if you have any more queries do write in the comment box for more information on fertility and women's health please like share and subscribe to our channel Thank you.